Hello, this is Max with Avon Website Pro, and welcome back to Bootstrap with WordPress. And just when you thought we were done with the menu, we're not actually. Um, I just want to show you a little something here about the menu. For instance, if we go here and we go down here to uh, appearance and menus, and we start creating custom menus. Uh, for instance, I have a custom menu here. If we have everything out like this. Oh, see, it's not going to cooperate with me. There we go. Put it out like this, it, and we'll save the menu, and we'll go here to Manage Locations, and the main menu will assign to be main, just like that there, okay? And then what we'll do is come here and refresh this page, and the menu's just fine here. But if we go back to this menu, and we edit the menu, and we want submenus. For instance, let's say that the sample page and hello world are going to be submenus of contact us. If we hit save, you'll see what happens. Refresh. Now they just appear down here. Well, there's a real simple fix for this, and I've put it on A1 Website Pro for you guys' benefit. If you come down here with says CSS for submenus, you just grab this entire thing. Grab that, copy, and um, what we'll do is we'll open up our style sheet uh, right here, style.css, and just paste that right there like that. Hit Control S, and that will save the style sheet for you. And then let's go back to our website. Right here where it says hello world, we'll do a hard refresh by holding the option key down. And now you notice it disappears, but when we hover over contact us, we get our sub menu. Okay, you can style that any way you wish, but uh, that's that's the way that works, and that's the way it needs to be. So you can, uh, you know, have sub menus. All right. So that's that there. Now there's some other interesting things that you could do with the menu as far as styling it and everything. And uh, let's say that we wanted the menu to be fixed at the top. You know, so when people scroll down, the menu stays up there. Kind of like that uh, black bar for my admin is staying right there. Let's say that you wanted this fixed at the top. Well, let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit and how we can do it. Okay, so we're going to have to rearrange some things around when this, the title's up here and this is down there. So let's go ahead and go back to our HTML editor. I'm using Bootstrap. And uh, let's see here. I want to take my uh, site branding and put it below my menu. Okay, so I, I don't want to mess with the header, but the section of branding, let's go ahead and take that, okay, copy it, let's put it down here, below the navigation, right before the closing header tag, and I'm going to hit Command S on my Mac to save it, or Control S on a PC, and come back here, refresh, and now you see my menus on the top and eventually I'm going to be putting this on Avon Website Pro so I'm going to be styling things according to that I just want a brighter look for uh, our website here at Avon Website Pro I'm going to get rid of the black and stuff so what we want to do is make sure that that's down there okay and uh, the next thing that we're going to do is make this be a fixed position so when you scroll down <clears throat> the menu scrolls down with you but in order for the tutorial to come out right, I'm going to get rid of this black um, admin bar line. So I'm going to go to edit my profile here and take off that black line. See, so show to toolbar when viewing site. I'm going to uncheck that and update my profile. And I'll keep this open in another tab. I'll click visit site. And now you notice that we have that black line gone. All right. So now let's go ahead and make this so that the menu stays fixed at the top. This is where you get to see where the magic of having the bootstrap library or framework in there is, is going to help you out. So what you want to do is go back to your header and your, your uh, BB edit or whatever text file you're using, Notepad++. And what you want to do is you want to look for the, the navbar class. See this navbar, navbar default? We're just going to take and paste in navbar hyphen fixed hyphen top and we're going to save that okay 
So let's save that and then let's bring up our uh, website. Let's do a refresh, hard refresh by holding the option key down. All right, now you notice that the uh, it's it's in a fixed position at the top, but yet it's still hiding our our title and stuff like that. So we have to give a little bit of room for our menu bar at the top there. So let's just go back to the header, okay? And we know that this is this nav now is in that fixed position, okay? Now there's a couple of different ways that we could do this. We can take this ID of branding and give it a margin on top in our style sheet. So I'm going to just double click here, highlight branding. I'm going to copy that, bring over our style sheet. And since this is an ID that we're going to be targeting, we're going to start out with a pound sign and then put in branding. And then uh, we'll say margin, M-A-R-G-I-N hyphen top. And let's start out with 88 pixels and see where that puts us. Okay, we'll save that. We'll come back to the site and we'll refresh this page. And now you can see that you can uh, see your you see your header there. Okay, so that's kind of nice. And uh, you still have your drop down. And then if we uh, scroll this over, you know, we still have our little thing here. You know, but what about our drop downs here on the mobile? We can't get them to display. That's the next issue we're going to take care of. Okay, well, once again, for to take care of this issue about not seeing our other uh, submenus on it, what we want to do is go back to A1 Website Pro, back to that site that I, that post that I showed you, and you scroll down and see, see CSS for submenus on mobile. Just click on that, and you'll see this little CSS. Let's go in there and grab this little bit of code here to work our magic for us. And I'll tell you what it's doing as soon as uh, we paste it in here. Let's go down to the bottom of our style sheet and just paste in that code. Now what this code is doing is it's targeting <clears throat> media screens and a max width of 760 pixels. These are for like tablets and stuff. And we're taking that sub menu Instead of displaying none, we're going to display blocks so that it shows. And we're going to give it a position of a relative instead of absolute like we did at the top. And then right here, I'm just styling the submenu, the anchor links in the submenu. I'm giving them that gray color, text decoration of none, and a cursor pointer. So let's go ahead and save that. And go back to our website here. And we're going to shrink that and shrink that down. We're going to hit Option and Refresh. When we do that, we hit that, and we see we can see all of our menus, even the sub ones. So that's what you have to do with uh, the mobile menu. We have one last thing to do on the menu before we finish this lesson, and that's putting the search in. So uh, once again, if you go back to A1 Website Pro to you know this this post here, let me refresh it because I just updated it for you. And I give you a function to put in the functions file and then a little edit thing to put in your header. So we'll go ahead and let that load up. And we'll scroll down here to where it says, um, first of all, the bootstrap function for search. You want to put this in your functions.php file. And very simply, just open it up like this. Hit control, com control or command A, control or command C depending on whether you're on a PC or a Mac. I'm on a Mac right now. Let's go to our functions file, and let's open that up. And right here at the bottom, let's go ahead and just paste in that code right there. And let's just go over what it's doing. Basically, it's taking over the uh, search form that gets put into your website. So that's what this little function here does. And then we start out, we store the whole form in this variable called form, and then we return it. But here we're targeting uh, classes that are in our bootstrap library, okay, for our search form. And then this is the form that gets put in there. And the input type, this is where they put the text, and we use the class of form control. And then we use a button uh, to, for the uh, submit type, and then we actually have the uh, button class from our bootstrap there. And we just put the name search in there. So you can search or find or 
you know, find what you need or whatever you want. But I just put search in there for generic. I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now, one more thing that we have to do, if we go back to A1 Website Pro, basically this is the exact same thing as uh, your nav, okay, your nav and your header. The only thing that I did different was put this get search form. But in order to make it easy for people, I put in this, this whole code so they could start with the nav and end with the nav. So we're going to copy this whole thing just like this. We're going to open up BB Edit or Text Editor, go to the header, and find out where the nav begins and where the nav ends. A lot of times in these text editors, if you double click, it'll underline it so you can find it quickly. So we're to actually highlight it. So we're going to just going to highlight all of that there. Okay, and we're just going to paste in what we got. Now, notice the only thing that changed was getting this search form. And so that people put it in the right place, that's why I did that. Hit Command S or con Control S for to save it. And let's go back to our website here. Let's load it up or re do a hard refresh. And there you go, you have your search box. And let's type, the, let's try to use it out. Hello. Okay, let's look, search for hello. And there we go, we got hello world. So that's pretty much it. That's, that's, that's pretty much what I want for my search box. I, I might end up putting some social media links at the top here, kind of like uh, what I have on A1 Website Pro right now. And I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with those, but uh, I, 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 don't, I know I need them somewhere towards the top. But if you follow along with the next tutorial, maybe you'll uh, find out what I've solved. I hope you guys appreciate these lessons. Uh, please like and subscribe and share on your social media. And uh, we'll continue to, to post them as long as we get a good response. Otherwise, we realize people are, are not interested. <laughs> this is Max with A1 Website Pro. Thank you so much for watching.